YouTube world. Oh, tie my hair up. I am back. Following on from my last two videos, I've got the two paintings opposite me. I wasn't going to do it again, but I am doing it again. <laughs> um, I just have these things going through my head where I could tweak this, I could change that and see what happens. Well, today, if you watch my last video, it's a nice painting, but I'm just going to change a few things. Um, the biggest thing I'm going to change is I'm going to add silicone to my gold. So, oh, these are rubbish gloves. Every time I go to Macro to get my black gloves, they've sold out. To get some from Amazon. So, silicone to the gold. Um, I'm leaving the purple out the sky. Well, I am, I am and I'm not. Two flip cups for the sky, okay? In here, I have titanium white with some 24K, a little tiny bit of 24K gold in there. I've got this lovely cream color that kind of glistens slightly. In here, I have got some blue violets with white and a tiny bit of bone black and a little bit of gold. I like fiddling with my colours. I don't know why. I just do. Can't help myself. I've got my pearl, golden fluid, and I've got Amsterdam titanium white. That's those are my sky flip cup colours for my sky. For the base, I've got, I've just made this up, it's a bit bubbly. Now I'm gonna probably add some more water to it. Um, this is um, Windsor and Newton Blue. Windsor Violet. Um, and to that I've added a squidge of Golden's Fluid Bone Black, just to darken up a bit. Uh, then I've got PBO Gold, three, five, four, I'm beginning to know the colours off by heart, I three, think 350, 350, with a tiny, tiny bit of silicone in it. I've got um, my copper, 355, I've got phthalo green, that's a mix of phthalo green, I've got a PBO High Velocity, 356, and I've got my normal uh, blue violet without any bone black. Don't know if I'll use that. So, ever the perfectionist, I don't know why. I'm gonna give this a go. Huh. So, the mistake I made in my last painting is I didn't put down my little line of white. Um, because I use the, I just want to touch the white just to swipe with a little bit, but it's more, it's more a visual horizon line for me. That's all. Sometimes it's just good to put paint down on the canvas to get yourself going. Okay. bit of water so I've got these drink bottles and I literally dribble dribble a little bit in it's another wet and windy day it's 10 o'clock in the morning and it looks like seven o'clock in the evening at my window so I've been slowly working on thickening all my paints up because I had problems uh, with all the time, but sometimes if I swiped more than once, it didn't really want to dry that well. So 
a little bit of a trade-off with consistency. You thicken your paints up and you get less effects happening. Regardless of what pouring medium you use, thinner your paints, obviously not too thin, the more lacing, the more cells you're going to get. The thicker your paint, the thicker your consistency, the less of those things you're going to get. And that's probably when you need to think about adding silicone. The dreaded swear word, silicone. <laughs> white in the bottom of the cups. Followed by my pale, very, very pale gold. I'm hoping this is gonna add a glow to the sky. Just a little bit of a glow. Followed by pearl. Followed by my mucky pale violet. Followed by white. So no workshop today, normally have workshops on a Saturday, which is quite nice actually, because it just gives me a chance to tidy up the studio. I've got one next Saturday. I have about 20 silicone cups to clean. I've let all the paint dry. So now I've got to pick it. It's quite satisfying actually, picking out all the paint from, the dried paint from silicone cups. Looking at that, I wonder if I could leave it and not swipe over that bit. We'll see how we go, shall we? Ooh. Ooh. So I like them to meet in the middle to get kind of a dramatic sky effect. Excuse me. I'm going to give those a torch. What I'm going to do before I go any further is just going to break that up. That See that harsh line there? I don't want that to be there. And I do that by just cutting down a very, very small piece of kitchen roll, folding it over, giving it a spray with water. 
I'm just literally dragging it through. I'm not going to do any more than that to the sky. Okay. So, swiping. So, I want to leave. Oh, let's see. What do I do about that? Just got to work with it, haven't I? Or do I want to get rid of it? What do I do? What do I do? Well, I didn't set out to get those, so. I'm gonna start off with my copper. Iridescent green. Now I've got my gold. Okay. I really see silicone starting to react quick. Okay. So I'm going just just touching in that white there. there. Didn't want to do that either.
So I've just torched that to bring the silicone up to the top. And um, I'll change the camera to time lapse so you can watch it grow before your eyes. I will leave this a good half an hour. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea. So, it's been over half an hour. I think it's gonna do all that it can do. Um, quite nice effects going on up here. So I'm glad I did swipe over that little bit. Um, so there's big cells happening here, which is what I wanted to dra drag my thick end of my tapper stick through. These areas here, probably gonna leave I'm not sure yet so we'll see we'll see so what I'm gonna do is gonna break these up because they're a bit fat and ugly um, these all these little ones are quite nice and the reason why I've left it over it's over half an hour is obviously to let the paint go up a little bit otherwise you just lose your shapes so here goes I'm very pleased. I'm not going to do anything more than that. I, if this does not dry properly, I'm giving up. And how many times have we all said that? So this is a few days later. I put it on the easel so you can see it, well, hopefully see it shimmer because I'm really pleased with the way this has dried, coming at it at an angle. Oh, I, love, I just love what's happened here, all the way across. I think that happened, could be wrong, because of the way I mixed my blue violet. There's two different brands in there. Um, Windsor Newton Violet and what was the other one? PBO, I think, or it could have been Amsterdam actually. <laughs> I tend to, if I have two lots of leftovers of the same colour, I just put them in one bottle. Um, but look, I love I love this band of gold. The the band of gold had the silicone in it, okay. And I swiped with the gold over the other colours but I love that you've got the green you can't really go wrong with those colours can you green gold and blue violet a little bit I wish the copper had come out a little bit more just through there and you just got glimpses of the the green the um, bright green from PBO can't remember the number now Very pleased with this. Love the way the sky shimmers. Quite dramatic.
There you go. Thanks for watching.